Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, brothers and sisters, in this video I would like to make a quick comment on the message to Muslims of Jordan Peterson. And uh, this comment will be on three levels. Uh, the first one is the some comment on the content. Uh, really, it, it, it looks like he, he is well-intentioned and he wants to get closer to his audience and to ask for forgiveness after treating the Prophet ﷺ as a warlord. And he says the Prophet, peace be upon him. And also uh, saying that, well, the, the, the threat is above all the Abrahamic religions and that it's something that is universal, um, this materialistic uh, liberal threat. Um, the issue is that as the video goes on, um, there are some quite weird uh, superficial prescriptions that I believe they come from issues he does not master. For instance, when he says it's time to stop fighting yourselves, uh, communicate with someone from the other side. So um, he, cre he, he, he thinks Muslims do not communicate enough with uh, Jews and Christians and Hindus and other beliefs, as well as they do not try to uh, go beyond the issues uh, that are present between Sunnis and Shia. But the problem is that he is creating here a false dichotomy because you can't, I mean, you can't put an equivalence between Sunnah and Shia as long as Shia only represent uh, something like 10% of the Muslim population all over the world. So Shia is just, is just um, a branch in the many branches that deviated from the classical Muslim thought. That's why Sunnis represent 90% of Islam. And well, in creating this false dichotomy, he, he gives a wrong, uh, he gives a wrong um, state of the situation, he gives a wrong vision of the situation. Uh, Sunnis, they communicate with Shia, they also communicate with uh, Ibadi, they also communicate with uh, with uh, Qadiani, they communicate with all the people that live with them, with the, with the one of the best manners, and uh, it, it goes on. But the, these, these differences, they, they, they will not stop today nor tomorrow. Um, so asking to get united, asking Muslims to get united, is also something that um, puts uh, insists on the fact that unity is good in itself but unity is good yes but with whom shall we unite we do not unite with someone who will uh, destroy your own faith who is someone who is really divergent from your own faith just because of unity unity has to be constructive it has to get us to a nice to a, to a good goal in fact and also um, when he says that we see Jews and Christians as enemies and uh, that the true Satan is elsewhere, um, that we have to look in within and there are uh, satanic ideologies that are spreading out there. Well, the problem is maybe he forgot that Jews live the best situation in their history under Muslim ruling. So, and they acknowledge this themselves. Jews have been persecuted by mostly by Christians themselves in Europe and in other countries during 2000 years their only uh, their only struggle was to survive and this was um, this was achieved with the with the Hitlerian Holocaust so um, I mean one has to look to the to history and to historical data before saying before rel relaying and repeating this uh, preconceived ideas, these cliches that um, Muslims persecute Jews and uh, take them as enemies wherever they are, wherever they live. Um, nowadays, the problem is that he t tends to forget that Jews are the ones who persecute Muslims. They are the ones who do not respect the resolutions of the of the United Nations. They are the ones who are breaching the treaties. They are the ones who are practicing modern Nazism and killing children and hospitals and, destroy, and destroying hospitals and schools. So one is, wonders why does he forget this thing? I mean, Muslims do not take Jews and Christians as enemies because they are Jews and Christians. I mean, we, we respect them as, as humans and we respect them as human beings. 
Um, also, it's not because someone uh, you you see. It seems he's confusing between the fact that you consider that the faith of someone, a belief, is wrong, and taking him as a as a, as an enemy. I mean, you can say someone is kafir, someone is Jewish. Uh, more specifically Jewish or Hindu or atheist but you you can respect him as long as he's not fighting you and he's not hurting you uh, so he's not your enemy as a person um, but he tends to forget this and this is quite superficial also um, it's quite bizarre coming from someone who specializes in psychology uh, minorities were crushed during uh, Christian uh, ruling uh, so nowadays you don't find uh, Muslim ancestors and Mus Muslim that had Muslim ancestors in the 16th and 17th century in Spain you don't find them as well as in Sicilia in southern France but uh, in opposition you find uh, 7 million Christians in uh, Egypt you find Christians and Jews and uh, Druzes and other faiths in Lebanon in Syria in uh, Iraq and so one is wondering uh, who crushes the minorities who persecutes the minorities um, there is a difference really between saying your ideology is wrong or maybe even it does not make any sense and taking you as an enemy and he has to uh, get back to this distinction um, the true Saturn is not maybe there. I don't know. The true Saturn can be in many places. He can be with Jews and with Christians, with the with the Hindus. And now they are persecuting Muslims as as uh, as uh, in a, in an awful way in uh, in uh, India uh, with the Buddhists in Myanmar. We're looking at the persecution of Rohingyas. Um, so uh, with Jews and Zionism we are looking at this in Palestine and persecution killing children and so Satan can be in many places <laughs> so it's not because he's not somewhere uh, or he, he must be in one place uh, then above these superficial messages there are some deviant messages like when he when he praises the Abrahamic the so-called Abrahamic um, Abrahamic Accords and he says it will bring peace between come on these Abrahamic or so-called Abrahamic Accords were just laid down and to 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 be uh, a step before and to make normalization with Zionism easier so uh, we have to be cautious about this not forget that after these Abraham so-called Abrahamic Accords uh, one of the goals is to get the religion liberalized and the uh, Arab countries remain silent for most of them after these accords when uh, Zionists um, made their atrocities in uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque in Gaza and so on so let us not forget the, the real goal of this, uh, these accords as for the, the way of speaking, the context of the video I mean it's um, there is a problem because um, if Jordan Peterson is good at uh, responding and answering uh, deviant feminists and uh, these many of these deviances of new feminism and, and classical feminism, second wave, third wave and first wave, um, it's not because he's famous for this that he will be famous in sociology and economy and uh, politics and uh, theology, no. So one has to make a distinction and take from him only what he's good at and what he is really uh, true at. Uh, so this talking about Islam super, in this such a superficial way is a problem. And the video is also a problem because the, the, the tonality, the, 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 the way of speaking is kind of neo-colonial. He's prescribing his ordering to he's saying Muslims do and don't do his uh, Muslims should be should do this reminds us of the white man burden uh, to civilize these uh, indigenous people and bring them to modernity and this is an issue in itself because it looks uh, looks like even maybe he's not intending to 
uh, it does not intend to do this, but it looks like it's condescendent and uh, a bit prescriptive uh, and also still superficial in a way like when he was so superficial that he called the Prophet Sallallahu a warlord. So, and if one, if one would take his, tona his way of speaking, uh, I would say, let's see my prescriptions to Jordan Peterson and people from the, the, coming from the Western background. I would say to all Christians, for instance, it's time to stop fighting among each other. Christians, it's time to unite all your churches, starting from Orthodox, Catholic, and Protestant churches, and even Evangelical, and all many dozens of churches that exist. Humanity suffered a lot because of these churches. Uh, it's time to stop um, killing innocents in Ukraine and Russia and other military fields, uh, like in uh, Central Africa, for instance, with Christians, extremists. It's time to reread your hundred and more uh, centuries, maybe centuries of war uh, due to colonization, the, the killing of millions of people in uh, Congo, uh, genocides in Northern, Afri uh, Northern America, and also Northern Africa with Algeria, and uh, the First World War, the Second World War, they were, these were not Muslim battles, these were not Muslim issues, these were purely Christian, atheistic, liberal, uh, lightning era, uh, post-lightning era uh, wars, and it's purely Western, Western issues. So it's time to stop also, if we were to talk like Jordan Peterson, we, we, we were to say it, it's time to stop the takeover over the world uh, resources and uh, like uh, Trump said, we secured oil in Syria so the military will stay, stay there or for <coughs> other countries like we are here to, here to help you so you have to pay, King, you have to pay and uh, exploiting many resources in many countries in the world. It's time to start making a strong retrospective about these this new wave Jordan Peterson is complaining about, materialistic, liberal, feminist, maybe LGBT. Where do these come from? I mean, these do not come from, these, this garbage do not, do not, does not come from Muslim countries. Muslims are actually one of the really resistant uh, sides to these, to these deviances. They, they, they come from Western countries, from Christian and Jewish background countries. They do not come from Muslim countries. Uh, so, it's time to stop them and make a retrospective analysis and uh, take responsibility for this. It's time also to stop exploiting the world and polluting the world with your factories. America making 33% of pollution, almost one third, and China making also the other third of the pollution, and asking developing countries that still fight starving in their countries to stop polluting and to cope with Paris. Uh, agreements on the climate and uh, also spreading these usury and fiat based systems based on debt that even deepen and make the burden harder over many many governments in the developing countries to pay their debts plus the interest plus the composed interest plus the usury plus having the dollar based system as a money that allows to exp export the, the, the inflation of the United States all over the world. And so the people suffer from the speculation on the dollar and also the speculation of the, the, the big investment funds and investment banks on, uh, on food and many, many resources. And it brings starvation to many countries. So it's time to be less superficial May Allah guide Jordan Peterson and people who watch him and uh, Jazakumullah khair. May Allah bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa